What if you could shoot sub MOA groups at 100 yards like this with something like this or shooting at a distance like this? I'm Drew, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. With several SBRs and pistols, I'm always looking for the most in the smallest, lightest packages. Now, what if you could have 5.56 long gun accuracy out of a 10 and a half inch barrel for your SBR or your pistol? Is that something that you'd be interested in? This is what I've been looking for when I came upon PSA's CHF carbine length 556 five, nato now i originally was looking for the white l just because you know i thought that that's what i was going to have to get chambered to have the accuracy out of a 10 and a half inch barrel but they just they really don't have those in the shorter barrels so what i was wanting was i was wanting the best of both worlds i want to have my cake and eat it too when it comes to my sbr now let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech to see what we have here on paper before putting this to the test on the range. Now normally I like to season the barrel before testing for accuracy for several reasons. I just wanted to, to get this going. I've got a break in the weather. So what I wanna do is I wanna get this zeroed at 50 and then we'll test the accuracy out at 100 and see what we get. To test for accuracy, I'm putting on an old Nikon Pro Staff scope, and I'm gonna test six different loads using five shot groups, waiting five minutes in between each group for consistency. So at 100 yards, not seasoning the barrel, just basically getting it on paper at 50 yards with about three shots, okay? This is using the Wolf. So I had the first two shots up there, made some adjustments, brought it down to here, and then I wanted to just, man, really happy with that so that's that wolf just 55 grain then i moved to my hornady frontier 55 grain and then i dropped down here and that's the hornady frontier 75 grain five shots it doesn't get any better than that uh not even out of a match grade barrel uh that's a lot longer than 10 and a half inches then I went over here to my regular Hornady, uh, the, well, the match, 75 grain, and that really kind of spread out. I wonder if the barrel just got cold faster. And then I've got my PPU, which really does pretty well. And the first shot up top there, and then it kind of came down, um, surprised me a little bit. And then that was the IMI with the Sierra Match King but wow, I mean, that is just impressive. 
And then with just range ammo, really, really happy with that. Guys, if you like this video, make sure and sub. Help support the channel. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm impressed way more than I expected to be with a 10 and a half inch barrel. Now I want to get it set up for my SBR rig. And then I want to have some fun on steel at different distances. Now let's see how it does at some distance using Wolf range ammo. Hey guys, if you like this video, if you follow my channel, help support Beyond Seclusion. YouTube is demonetizing just about everything related to firearms. The one thing that you can do that helps support the channel is simply use our links. I don't do Patreon or any of the membership stuff. Basically, all you do is shop as you normally would. Don't buy anything that you weren't normally going to buy, but simply using our links on our webpage here and Amazon. You literally go to Amazon and buy toilet paper and that helps support the channel. Guys, I couldn't do it without your help thank you so much and don't forget to sub nice Nice. There you go, folks. It is what it is. You decide for yourself what you think of this 10.5 CHF 5.56 upper. I'm impressed. It did far better than I actually expected it to do. Plus, the thing is just going to be tough as nails, which is what I want on my SBR because I'm going to run whatever ammo I can get my hands on. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Till next time, guys, happy shooting and be safe.